My name is Alice. I did the Ballymaloo cookery course in January 2015 and five years later I am now head chef at Amelia restaurant in Mayfair, central London. After I left Ballymaloo I went straight to Amsterdam to work in a small cafe restaurant and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to be a chef at that point but I knew I had to get a job and I thought it'd be cool to live in a different country. I moved there and my first day of work there was really, really bad and I absolutely hated it. Because I couldn't speak Dutch, all of these tickets were coming through and I couldn't, I had no idea what zam or on beat meant. And I was the only girl in the kitchen. Well, no, I was the only person in the kitchen. I was distraught. I thought, I'm not, I'm not gonna do this. I was there, so I had to. And then second day, it was, yeah, like that. And that's when I realized this is for me. So after I left Amsterdam, I came back to London, started working at Cricket Restaurant, original site in Pot Brixton. Started about three months after they opened, during all the excitement of a new sort of modern small plate Indian restaurant that hadn't really been done before in London. That was amazing. Then after that, I realized that I needed to learn a bit more of a sort of classical approach to cooking, which led me to Clipstone Restaurant, which is owned by another Ballymaloo alumni. That was great. I worked there for about a year and a half. Then after that, I went traveling for a year in Asia and I worked at amazing villa in India with my boyfriend at the time who I met at Ballymaloo. We taught an Indian girl how to cook Western food and she taught us how to cook Carnatican food. And then after that, we went traveling all around India, Sri Lanka, Bali, Vietnam, Thailand. And I worked in a kitchen in Bangkok for a month, which was incredible. Then went back to India, came back, and started working at a restaurant in South London. And I was on pastry for six months. And then I got a call from Daniel Morgenthau and he said, come and work for us again. And I said, yeah, and now I'm here. So I started as sous chef. Then yes, yeah, six months later, I'm now head chef. So we focus on Northern Italian food, hence the name Emilia, which is where all the good things are from. Balsamic vinegar, parma ham, parmesan, tortellini. And there's lots of snacking in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> For me, my favorite thing about the course was the location. I loved that it was in the middle of nowhere in a different country. It's gonna sound really cheesy, but it, you know, it is a family run business, so it does feel like home. I regret not using the library. I didn't even set foot in the library. I think if I could go back, what I would do is go to the library and find a book based on the food that I had learned about that day, because that's what I do now. At Ballymaloo, you learn so much in three months, it's almost like information overload, and it's just like Phew. So I think what probably would have helped that is just going and indulging in a few books. So I'm now having to catch up. Some of my friends have ummed and ahed about it, and a few people who know that I've done it have said, shall I do it? I always just say yes, and it's just not something you would ever regret. If someone like my dad, who has zero interest in food. He likes to eat, but he, he can't cook. I know that if he did it, it would change his life. <laughs> I think it's such a unique experience that I don't know that many cooking courses that do what they do, that have the farm, you live on the farm. It's very, very immersive. The thing that I liked was not just the daily structure, but also the after school activities that you could do. So breaking down a whole lamb, there were butchery classes, you could learn how to make pizza. You did the after school sourdough class, cheese making, you could go on walks to the sea and learn about all the different types of seaweed. I think it just changes your perspective, not just on food, but on everything.